Hey what is up guys and welcome to another Cav5 tutorial. Today we are going to be showing you another plugin tutorial on a plugin called Prime Shop. Now Prime Shop is a really cool GUI system shop plugin uh, which you can use on any server basically. You can use it on a prison server, a minigame server, a survival server, whatever you have in mind and would like to use your shop plugins for. Now I'm going to run you through the basics of the plugin, how it works, how the commands work, how to create a shop, and how to set up certain items. So I hope you enjoy the ride and let's get started into this plugin. Now first off I'm going to show you the commands. Uh, and once you first install it you're going to want to do prime shop, which is slash prime shop. Uh, a list of commands will pop up including open, list, create, rename, delete, all kinds of cool stuff. It also includes uh, support for NPCs if you have citizens installed, which at the moment I do not have it installed. I do plan on installing citizens eventually, just not now. So let's get started, shall we? So I wanted to create a default shop first, but first before I do that I want to show you a shop I am working on right now called Skyblock. So if I wanted to see what shops I already had set up, I would do prime shop, list. I, and it will show me a list of the current available shops I have on this server. Uh, currently Skyblock is the only one because it's the only one I'm working on. So let's do Prime Shop Open. If I could spell Prime Shop correctly then it would open. Uh, Prime Shop Open Skyblock. Now as you're going to see it opens up a little Skyblock GUI system type thing shop. And as you can see, it's sky block, and the icon is an ice block. This ice block can be set to any item you want, really. It's really neat. And including that, you can also set whatever items you would like. Now, currently, I only have six items in the sky block shop, which are all saplings. But as you can see, when I click them, the prices are set to really high because it's sky block, obviously. But also, uh, it's just really neat. The prices actually change with uh, rise in demand. So say a bunch of people are buying uh, the trees, they'll go, I believe, I believe down in price or up. I'm not sure. Let me let me actually see. Let's test this. Yeah, if you buy a lot of them, they actually go down in price. I think. Hold on. Let me test this. Yeah, if if a lot are bought, they go up in price. If uh, a lot are sold, they go down in price. It's pretty neat. And uh, that's basically it. Uh, they're all the same, so let's just not let's not show you that right now. Let's create a shop actually. Uh, so we're going to do Prime Shop, create, and we're gonna call it YouTube. Let's just call it YouTube for fun. And so create, we want to add a display item. So I believe 322 was the one I wanted to create last time. So we're going to do now Prime Shop, open YouTube. If you see, it's a golden apple that says YouTube. Pretty neat. That shows that that's uh, basically to signify how special you guys are. You are like the golden apple to me. <laughs> you replenish my life. Anyway, um, so let's close out of this for right now. We want to do slash clear right click to clear our inventory. Go into game mode. And what blocks should we put in this very special YouTube shop specifically for you guys? I would like to think things like, uh, say, cake. Cake is very special. <laughs> and uh, a diamond sword, even. And maybe, let's see what else we can throw in there. Some TNT. Uh, and one last item, one last item. A block of emerald, because blocks of emeralds are pretty cool. So now we're going to reopen up the YouTube shop. And to add items, you actually shift left click, as it says in the bottom left corner of the YouTube shop. So shift left click, shift left click, do that all for all the items you want to add to it. And by default, the, co the coolest thing about this plugin is every single item has a default price already set which is really really cool. You can actually change these by going into the original ingredients. Uh, to do this it's really kinda complicated, I understand it first, but basically it's set on here. You would change the price of the sugar cane, which in turn would change the price of sugar, which in turn would change the price of cake. And you can change each item. It's really cool. Everything is completely customizable. And this is by far the most customizable plugin out there. And basically another cool thing is that you can change the modify rate. Say um, you want it so every time 300 items are purchased, uh, which you can set it here, every time 300 of these are purchased, 
then that essentially will double the price of what it costs currently. So what it costs currently is, I believe, $1. So if I were to buy 300 of these, it would then cost $2. It's really extremely neat. So anyway, let's go back. As you can see, everything has its own default price already set. Now I will say this, the uh, if you can see this, uh, <laughs> the diamond sword is a bit overpriced. I don't know why that is. Uh, it probably is some kind of little little price error that went on with the shop. Anyway, so say you don't like the shop that you have. There's two ways you can delete it. One, you can hit this delete shop and it'll allow you to confirm it. But let's deny it and not cancel it that way. Let's destroy it or delete it this way. You would do prime shop delete YouTube. Then it'll show up with the same exact thing that says yes or no, and you would hit yes. Uh, you can delete it either way, it's really neat. You can basically essentially create some of the most customizable GUI shops out there. And you can also do things like uh, put them to signs, uh, which I will show you actually. Let's show you. So I do not, it's now that I've deleted YouTube, there's no way I can put it on a sign. However, I do still have Skyblock. So you would do prime shop on the top line and you would do it in brackets too, like that. Then you would put the name of the shop you've created. So the one I have left is Skyblock. And as you're going to see, the colors now change. Uh, and the weird thing about this plugin is you don't right click you do not right click at all. See, uh, right clicking will not work. It'll say you destroy this item with an arrow. No, you have to left click it, which then opens up the shop, which is really neat. And you can't exit it by hitting escape. That will not work. You actually have to hit close button, which is really cool. So if you're buying something, there is you can't escape or mess up at all. You actually have to hit that in order to exit out, which is really nice. Because if you're going in a long process of buying stuff, it would really suck. Now let's go back into game on one and show you quickly how to delete these signs. You would actually take an arrow and you would punch it. It's gone now and that will not come back and the sign will not work. Uh, so essentially that is the Prime Shop plugin in a nutshell. It's extremely neat. I highly recommend it. I believe I'm going to completely use that to set up all my stuff on the server, including Skyblock shops, uh, survival game shops if possible, and more. Uh, in a quick update on this uh, t t server I'm working on, uh, survival games has actually been worked on. Uh, a little bit of a funny thing about this is uh, if you didn't notice there was a guy named Steven that commented on one of my videos. Uh, he wanted me to unban him from the server. Somehow he managed to gain access to the IP of the server in which he griefed the entire survival games building this was not here like have like the inside was completely gone there was actually a barrier right here that completely was wooled and this was all gone I had to use a little world edit magic to copy and paste and fix it again uh, and I decided might as well since I'm fixing it I might as well finish it so as you can see the survival game sign is now set up uh, next I am hoping to possibly do plot me as one of them and for the fourth one I might just uh, block it off I might I might try to come up with an idea before I block it off though just so I can redesign the sign make it look nice and then I can set a goal say uh, 20 30 40 players uh, and like say like 50 bucks in donations I will add that game mode uh, just a few ideas I have a lot of ideas actually in my head so the whole plot me that is not confirmed it's just an idea I had that I might do uh, I, one thing I have to take into account is how much money I have, how much it's going to cost, uh, and a lot of other things. Uh, a server can be complicated at times. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, have a nice day, and I hope to be releasing this server within the next month. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Goodbye.